hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about css display inline block property so the inline block property is used to overcome the problem that occurs while using the inline and also the problem that occurs while using the block elements in our web page so the main problem while using the inline is that like in example we have the paragraph element of item 1 and item 2 so we have two paragraph element now if we select the paragraph and if we add some border around them of one pixel solid red and also if we add some background color of yellow and if we use the display inline property so now you can see because we are using the display inline we cannot set height so if we set height and if we set width to the element it does not affect that's because the paragraph is now one inline element so we cannot set height and width to one inline element and also the inline element does not respect the top and bottom margin and padding so these are the problem with the inline element now also if we use the display block now the main problem while using the display block is that here the elements does not sit side by side so the block elements will start in a new line so to overcome these problems we can use the inline block value so while using the display inline block it overcome the problems that occur while using inline and also while using the block elements like an example here we can set height and width to the elements which is not possible in case of the inline element and also the top and the bottom margins and paddings will also be respected and also it overcomes the problem while using the block element and here the elements can see it side by side which is not possible in case of block element so this is the way we can use the display inline block property and we can overcome the problem that occurs in inline and also in the block elements so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you